Hi kindergarten friends, it's time for today's interactive read aloud. And today's story is called Jessica. It was written and illustrated by one of my favorite authors, Kevin Hankies. Boys and girls, do you remember Kevin Hankies from some of the other books we've read this year? Do you recall him as the author and illustrator of Wimberly Worried? He's also the author and illustrator of a story you listened to the first week of school called Chrysanthemum, one of my all-time favorite Kevin Hankies stories. Well, today we're going to read a book by Kevin Hankies with a human character. And this book is another book in our text set five, The Importance of Friendship. This book is called Jessica, but this isn't Jessica. This little girl's name is Ruthie. That's interesting, isn't it? Usually we find the main character on the front and if there's a name, it usually belongs to the main character. Let's find out why this book is called Jessica and what happens when Ruthie starts kindergarten. Jessica by Kevin Hankies. Hold on tight, Jessica. This says, good jump, Jessica. We're almost there, Jessica, for Annie and Jerry and Mac. Jessica is my best friend. Ruthie Sims didn't have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister, but Jessica was the next best thing. Boys and girls, do you see Jessica in the picture? I wonder why not. Jessica went wherever Ruthie went. My toes are cold too, Jessica. To the moon, to the playground. Too high, Jessica. To Ruthie's grandma's for the weekend. Jessica's not ready yet. Boys and girls, why don't we see Jessica? There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents, but there was. She ate with Ruthie. Careful, Jessica, it's hot. Looked at books with Ruthie. Once upon a time, Jessica, and took turns stacking blocks with Ruthie, building towers. If Ruthie was mad, so was Jessica. If Ruthie was sad, Jessica was too. And if Ruthie was glad, Jessica felt exactly the same. Boys and girls, what do you think? Why are Ruthie's parents telling her there is no Jessica? Hmm. When Ruthie accidentally spilled some juice, she said, Jessica did it and she's sorry. When Ruthie's parents called the babysitter because they wanted to go to a movie one night, Ruthie said, Jessica has a stomach ache and wants you to stay home. And when Ruthie turned five, it was Jessica's fifth birthday too. There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents, but there was. 
Boys and girls, notice how this page has the words really big and it takes up the whole space. So that tells us that this is very important. This is a very important sentence in our story. She went to bed with Ruthie. Sleep tight, Jessica. She got up with Ruthie. Rise and shine, Jessica. And she stayed with Ruthie all, while in be all the while in between. Ready or not, Jessica, here I come. On the night before the first day of kindergarten, Ruthie's mother said, I think Jessica should stay home tomorrow. Ruthie's father said, you'll meet a lot of nice children. You can make new friends. But Jessica went anyway. Come on, Jessica, it'll be okay. Jessica wanted to go home so badly that Ruthie had to hold her hand and whisper to her. When the teacher announced everyone's name, Ruthie and Jessica weren't listening. We have the names of all the other children in her class all around the edge. Jessica crawled through a tunnel with Ruthie don't get lost, Jessica. She took a nap with Ruthie. I can't sleep either, Jessica. And she shared Ruthie's paintbrush during art. Do you think that Ruthie is having a fun time at kindergarten? She doesn't look very happy and the picture that she drew by Ruthie and Jessica doesn't look very happy either. When all the children lined up two by two to march to the laboratory, Jessica was right next to Ruthie. The laboratory is the bathroom. A girl came up to Ruthie and stood by her side. Can I be your partner? She asked. Ruthie didn't know what to say. My name is Jessica, said the girl. It is, said Ruthie. The girl nodded. Mine's Ruthie, said Ruthie, smiling. And they walked down the hallway, hand in hand. Ruthie Sims didn't have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister. But Jessica was even better. So boys and girls, this story changed a lot from the beginning to the end. We did hear the same passage at the beginning of the story that we heard at the end, that Ruthie Sims didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister, but Jessica was the next best thing. Why do you think that Ruthie has Jessica in her life? And maybe she's lonely. She doesn't have any other children to play with at her house. Maybe she doesn't have any neighbors she can go out and play with. And so she makes an imaginary friend. An imaginary friend is someone who isn't real, but you pretend is real. I like at the end how it shows Ruthie and the real Jessica doing things that Ruthie was doing by herself with the pretend Jessica. Boys and girls, what do you think Jessica's parents are going to say when they find out that Ruthie played with Jessica all day? Do you think Ruthie is going to explain that Jessica is a real girl? They might think she's talking about her pretend imaginary friend, Jessica, if she doesn't explain that she has a real girl named Jessica in her class. How does Ruthie feel? 
How does Ruthie feel when she begins kindergarten? I think she's scared. I think that's why she wants to take Jessica with her, even though her parents try to convince her not to take Jessica, that um, she's a little afraid to go by herself and that having her imaginary friend um, might make her feel a little bit better. And I do think she would have noticed there was a Jessica in her class if she was listening to her teacher. Here it says, Jessica wanted to go home so badly that Ruthie had to hold her hands and whisper to her. When the teacher announced everyone's names, Ruthie and Jessica weren't listening. So if she was listening, would she have known there's a Jessica in her class? Yep, and she wouldn't have been so surprised when the little girl asked her or told her her name, right? She would have realized there was a real Jessica. Boys and girls, this book never comes out and tells you that Jessica isn't real and that it's an imaginary friend, but we do figure it out by the, using the illustrations and the clues of the author. We always see Ruthie talking to, to Jessica, but there's never anybody or anything there. And that gives us a clue that Jessica is not a real person until she meets her at school. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this book called Jessica, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.